Hi human, welcome to my first video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to identify chromosome, chromatid, and also chromatin. Let's go. Let's start the video with a single cell. Huh? Now we have a cell here, and then what is inside the cell is the nucleus. The nucleus it has two main functions. The first function is to control the activities of the cell and the second function is contains genetic material what is genetic material for example dna so today we are going to talk about the different structure of the dna but before we start, we, do, we need to know a thing, which is sound is just like us. We have our life cycle and sound also it has its own life cycle. And we call this life cycle, we call the sound life cycle as the sound cycle. Let's break down the sound cycle into two major phases. Huh? So in sound cycle, we have two major phases. A cell will spend 90% of their life in the interface. And we have another phase called M phase. So the condition of DNA will be different in different phases. In interface, the DNA in the nucleus is in chromatin structure. So we have one set of the chromatin which is come from the father, mother and the other set of the chromatin which is come from the mother. Now, what is a chromatin? Chromatin, basically, it is an uncondensed form of chromosome. So we call it as a chromatin. In interface, one very important process, which the chromatin will start to replicate itself into another copy. So this chromatin is start to replicate itself into another chromatin. And the blue one also it will replicate itself into another copy of chromatin. So when so after they are ready, they will go into the M phase. So the chromatin will start to condense and give you a ribbon structure called chromosome. So right here we have the red chromosome and also the blue chromosome. So again, once it's condensed, it will form a structure called chromosome. Now, look at the diagram. The red chromosome, it has two sides, the left side and also the right side. So, the left side of the chromosome is actually known as the chromatids. How about the right side of the chromosome? The right side of the chromosome is also known as chromatids. So in a single chromosome, it has two chromatids. Now, since these two chromatids, the left side and the right side, they are having the same DNA content, so we call them as sister chromatid. Sister chromatids. Now, what if two chromatids, they are having different DNA content? Then, we should call them as non-identical chromatids.
simple, right? Now, let me give you a test. Now, look at this diagram. How many chromosomes can be found? The number of chromosomes can be found here is 3. 1, 2, and 3. How about chromatids? The number of chromatids are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Total, 6 chromatids. How about sister chromatids? We have one pair of sister chromatids, two pairs of sister chromatids, and three pairs of sister chromatids. And that's it for my video. I hope you guys love it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.